Good evening and welcome in our news for tonight. His Majesty King Abdullah departed Jordan on a working visit to Italy and the United States. His Majesty King Abdullah congratulates Jordanians on the occasion of International Labor Day and praises the country's workers on their great efforts. Jordan denounces an attack by extremist Israeli settlers on two aid convoys bound for Gaza. Those were our headlines and now for the news in details. His Majesty King Abdullah departed Jordan on a working visit to Italy and the United States. The visit comes within Jordan's efforts to reach a permanent ceasefire in Gaza and put an end to the catastrophic humanitarian crisis unfolding in the Strip. His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II was sworn in as regent in the presence of cabinet members. His Majesty King Abdullah congratulated Jordanians on the occasion of Labor Day. In a tweet on X platform, His Majesty praised the country's workers for their great efforts in the continued development process of Jordan. Also on this occasion, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein posted on Instagram and extended his best wishes to country's labors. Prime Minister Bishal Khasawne also congratulated workers, offering a tribute of appreciation and pride for all workers of the kingdom. In a tweet on X, Al Khasawne emphasized in his tweet that your determination builds the nation and your dedication enhances its progress, all under the leadership of His Majesty King Abdullah, supported by His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has strongly denounced an attack by extremist Israeli settlers on two Jordanian aid convoys bound for Gaza today. The convoys, one taking the route to Beit Hanun crossing and another taking Karam Abu Salem crossing, were attacked by the settlers who dumped some of their cargo. The ministry said the Israeli government's failure to safeguard the aid convoys and allowing the attack to occur is a flagrant breach of its legal obligations as the occupying power and its duty to facilitate aid access to Gaza. The Jordan Armed Forces Arab Army and the Jordan Hashemite Charity Organization delivered an aid convoy into embattled Gaza despite the attack on the convoy by extremist Israeli settlers earlier. The organization said that for the first time, 31 aid trucks would enter the northern Gaza Strip via the Beit Hanun crossing. The statement detailed that the Jordanian convoy comprises an additional 48 trucks scheduled to cross through the Karam Abu Salem crossing, bringing today's total convoy count to 79 trucks. Gaza's health ministry said Israeli attacks across the Strip have killed 33 people and injured 57 others in the past 24 hours. The ministry added that at least 34,568 Palestinians have been killed and 77,765 wounded in Israeli attacks on Gaza since October the 7th of last year. United Nations aid chief Martin Griffiths warned that despite uh, global calls for Israel to spare Rafah uh, in the Gaza Strip, a ground operation there is on the immediate horizon. Griffiths said in a statement that Israeli improvements to aid access in Gaza cannot be used to prepare for or justify a full-blown military assault on Rafah. He added that a ground operation by Israeli troops in the southern Gaza city of Rafah would be a tragedy beyond words. 
That is the end of our news for tonight. Thank you for watching.